Hello, my name is Nadine and I'm the worship director here at Connect Church. A fun fact about me is that I once traveled to California with just one backpack, but that's another story for another time. Today, we're diving into devotionals. For Lent, we are taking a look at the seven things Jesus said on the cross. Our goal for this is to prepare our hearts and unify as a church heading into Easter. During this time, we press into different ways that we can keep our eyes focused on Jesus. This could look like creating a new habit. Maybe you want to start waking up earlier to do your quiet time or take up journaling. It could also look like giving up something, such as sweets or social media. And lastly, it could look like building community around you and in the church by having meals with others or studying the word together. Now, speaking of the Bible, let's read a piece of scripture together. Luke 23 verse 43 says, And Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. The big idea here is that Jesus was crucified between two thieves, one of whom supports Jesus' innocence. In all his pain and fear, the thief asks Jesus to remember him when he comes into the kingdom. It is not just the religious leaders or the soldiers that mock Jesus. Now, even one of the criminals does so as he says, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the criminal on the right speaks up for Jesus as he rebukes the other man, saying, Do you not fear God? He explains that the two criminals are receiving their just due. But Jesus has done nothing wrong. He never sinned. What wonderful faith this repentant sinner has in Jesus. Ignoring his own suffering, Jesus responds with mercy. He says, I assure you, you will be with me. I love that Jesus grants this man full assurance and hope in this promise that he will remember him and grant him eternity in paradise. As we dive into application, let's reflect on how this expression offers us hope for salvation. This offer is for us as we turn our hearts and prayers to God and accept his forgiveness. It's for those who trust in his work on the cross. Jesus offers salvation at any moment. We just need to ask and receive it. This gift is for anyone and everyone who accepts. Whether you just heard about Jesus five minutes ago or you've known about him for a while, he welcomes you in with open arms and he says that you have a place with him in eternal paradise. We will also be with Jesus Christ at the end of our lives. This is the great hope we have as followers of Jesus. Today, you can accept Jesus as your savior. And if you have already, would you be grateful for this gift? It's so important to remind ourselves the weight and the cost of this gift that was so freely given to us. And for those who are watching, where can the power of the gospel continue to transform you? What things or people do you run to for purpose or meaning? What do you turn to first before Jesus? In what ways do you live out faith in your own power? Instead of praying first, do you try to solve it yourself? This is something I'm currently learning the value of, going to the feet of Jesus first before depending on my own abilities. I grew up in the church, and I was always surrounded by believers, but this idea of a relationship with Jesus never really clicked for me until a few years ago. When I realized that it wasn't my family's faith that was going to save me, it wasn't anything of my own power, talents, or abilities. It's only through faith and hope in Jesus that we are able to be reunited with God. And as I turned to Jesus and fell in love with his word, I started to delight in him and who he is. I started to see the world so differently and now carry the desire to see everyone come to know Jesus and have their own experience with him. So let's pray for our church. God, we thank you so much for the work that you did on the cross for us, God, for the deep love that you have for your children and for the gift of salvation and eternity that you offer us. Lord, would you help us grow in hope as your followers and as a church? In your grace and mercy, despite all of our sins, you welcome us into your family and you love us. May we never take that for granted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for spending your time with us today. God bless you.